Every single plant leaf is like a miniature solar panel, capturing light and using it to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and sugar. This is photosynthesis. These simple sugars form the building blocks of plants, from tiny, delicate seedlings to magnificent, towering giants. But plants need more than just a few simple sugars in order to thrive. They also require nutrients, like nitrogen and phosphorus. So how do they obtain these vital elements? The answer lies beneath our feet in the soil. The soil around this old ash tree has been eroded by water, exposing its tangled mass of roots. These roots not only act as an anchor for the tree, holding it to the rock, they also provide a surface between the tree and the soil, allowing the exchange of nutrients. Because of their lack of mobility and relatively large size, plant roots are limited to the amount of nutrients that they can take up from the soil so they employ a variety of biological allies to help obtain them. The immediate area of soil around a root hair is called the rhizosphere, and it's here that an ingenious trade-off occurs between the plant roots and organisms within the soil. Some of the sugars that the plant produces from photosynthesis are released from the root into the rhizosphere. These sugary compounds are called exudates. You might think that expelling some of your hard-earned sugars is a terrible waste of energy, but the plant is actually forging its own workforce, a colony of microscopic organisms that supply the plant with nutrients that would have otherwise have been locked up. Bacterial colonies establish around the rhizosphere and as the plant produces more exudates, the bacteria feed and multiply in the rich, sugary environment. Not only are the bacteria taking in carbon from the sugar, they are also ingesting a range of other elements found in the soil. The waste produced by the bacteria is rich in essential bioavailable plant nutrients. This is where the fungi comes in. Tiny filaments of fungal hyphae, one cell thick, work in symbiosis with the plant roots. They are particularly good at extracting plant nutrients because of their large surface area, and will trade them in return for the sugary exudates released from the roots. These fungal hyphae form huge underground networks, connecting multiple plants and allowing them access to a vast range of nutrients. This incredible symbiotic relationship between bacteria, fungi and plants has shaped the evolution of soil and forms the basis of the soil food web. Without these fundamental organisms, the soil food web collapses, which has massive implications for all life above ground. Modern farming practices are detrimental to this web, but if we can learn to work with it, we can foster long-term solutions to enable global food security.